and thanks for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about some enhancements to 2021 R1 Acumatica regarding Shopify. So there's a couple of things here that we're going to talk about, and one of them is the ability to track inventory by warehouse. So under settings, we have a locations option here in Shopify, and we could define all of our stores for Shopify. So imagine a scenario where you have 20 stores and you want to be able to track them accordingly. A customer checks out and the order they place is associated with the appropriate location here on Shopify. Now, if we go back over to Acumatica for a moment, go to Shopify stores. Under inventory settings, there's now a new section here to map your warehouse in Acumatica to the location over in Shopify. So you can see here the 76 Progress Drive, that's a location. We added Shopify. Atlanta is another one. And notice we map them accordingly, retail and wholesale locations. Now, under entity settings, you can see we have product availability. So this product availability can be pushed back and forth through our prepare and process synchronization screens. So what is that doing for us? Well, it's sending along the inventory information, the stock on hand and availability over to Shopify so that we can see it there. Now, most templates won't show this on the e-commerce site. So for example, if we take a look at this particular item, notice we're seeing the description. The typical Shopify debut theme won't show the inventory here. However, you can modify the theme to do that, and make a lot of changes to the product pages and to the catalog pages. But one of the other new features is Acumatica now supports Shopify's point of sale. So if we take a look at my phone, I've downloaded the Shopify point of sale app. You can see this is what the app looks like. Now, Shopify point of sale is a great option because you can get all sorts of different hardware, credit card readers, scanners, and run the app on the hardware and conduct point of sale operations. And as we mentioned before, the theme of this is that the product availability per store, per location, per warehouse in Acumatica will now be linked to the store that you're operating out of. So for example, back in Shopify under the control panel, under settings and locations, we picked the appropriate location to do business out of. And if I go back to the app over here, I can do all sorts of different operations. I can add my customer. I can go to the store and browse the store, but I can search for an item or I can scan an item. So over here, I can click this button here and actually scan the barcode. I have all my products barcoded, but I can simply search on the product that I'm looking for. And notice Shopify shows me the amount that I have available in stock. So this could be very helpful if a customer calls you, you can look at your point of sale Shopify app and you can give them the go ahead to come down to the store and pick up these items. So I'll select this and I'll click on the bottom, the item. I'll click checkout. I could select any payment method. Keep in mind that these payment methods are mapped in Acumatica. We'll take $500 amount. And then of course you have all your options to email the receipt or print the receipt if you have a hardware printer set up. And if we go back, back over to Acumatica, we will prepare our data, prepare the sales order. This can all be scheduled or real-time push. But we're gonna do it here manually. We'll go over to our process and I'll, we'll process our sales orders. And now if we go over to sales orders, take a look, you can see we have a brand new point of sale order here. Came in, there's our Acer laptop. 
and you can see here the quantity and the price. And notice it came in as an order type IN. The other thing you notice is if we go to payments, you could see the payment here, $500 cash. So let's take a look at where this is set up. We go into our Shopify store and we go over to order settings. First thing you notice here is that we've mapped our order import from this Shopify location, 76 Progress Drive. We are importing point of sale orders. So we have this checkbox on. When they come in, they come in as an order type of IN. That in Acumatica bypasses the need to do a shipment. So from an IN invoice order type, we can simply prepare invoices. Now, if there were additional items that the customer needed, they step up to the register and they want something that's back ordered, then you can use an order type, for example, counter sale. And that could be a sales order in the system that you could ship out later. The other thing to notice is when we set up our point of sale, we selected the cash store payment method. So that showed up here and we mapped it accordingly to our cash payment method in Acumatica. So that's it. The Shopify connector in Acumatica's commerce edition now allows you to export out inventory data so that you can show the availability. You could show it on your e-com site if you modify your theme accordingly. But additionally, Acumatica now supports Shopify point of sale. And as you saw, we checked out a laptop computer and that order invoice came right into Acumatica. So if you have any questions about this or any other feature in Acumatica, feel free to leech. Feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.